have come out to kind of form a public participation in education because we cannot uh, let education um, we, we want to own education, we want people to own education. And as pioneers of the Molom Klaba School, we welcome the parents that bring their children to us. And we are saying together we can build a functioning education system for our school so that we can provide safe quality education for children in their own communities. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's billed as a low-fee private school. Polisa, would you mind telling us about your fee structure? Um, it's a low-fee um, private school because we are wanting to serve the poor of the poorest. Mm -hmm. We know that um, many parents who, who can afford choose to send their children to private schools or to high fee paying Model C schools. And the rest of the people who cannot afford to send their children to those schools really struggle to, have, to, have, uh, to give their children access to quality education in their communities. So we decided that we therefore want to have low fee um, paying schools so that the poor of the poorest can have access to it. So for example, for our grade not, we charge 4,500 a, a year. And then for grade R, it's, it's 5,000. For grade one, it is 6,000 a year. Yeah. I mean, it's a pan-African private school for girls. Tell us about this decision to uh, place your school in the sector that caters specifically for girl <coughs> children. It's a pan-African school because we are in Africa and we find that the curriculums that are, have been handed over to our children have nothing to do with us. So we wanted to make a school that will be made by us, for us and for our children. Mm. A school that will embrace who we are as black people, our languages, our diversity in blackness uh, or in Africanness as well. Um, because we, we feel that that diversity is not really, really welcomed in the curriculum. Mm. So the curriculum for us, the, the way we see it, the, the, the public curriculum is Eurocentric in its nature. It is not meant for the black child. So, so give us more detail on how your curriculum does differ from other schools in terms of catering for our black children. At the moment, uh, we are still choosing eclectically from curriculums that have been developed. Um, for example, the Montessori curriculum, and we're choosing those areas in the Montessori curriculum that resonate with our way of life, with mm -hmm. our way, with our way of learning. So, for for example, we know that. Um, uh, we learn by engagement. So if you work with parents and they are teaching you things at home, you would engage as much as you observe, rather than sitting and not engaging. Mm. So we're choosing those aspects from the Montessori curriculum that help us to drive um, our own uh, um, beliefs about learning, as well as we are also using a curriculum that has been designed by the Nelson Mandela Institute for Education and Rural Development in the Eastern Cape. That curriculum we developed it as I was working for that organization. And the examples in the book resonate with the examples that we see in everyday lives of children, rather than talking about things that children have no access to.